Yo, what's going on guys? This is going to welcome back to another video. Today's video is awesome because we only get to do this about once or twice a year, but we have the brand new line of OnePlus phones sitting right here in front of me and they are incredible. But the more important part is I love the space theme. OnePlus 9 has been doing a moon space kind of theme around its launch and obviously that goes super well with all of the space intros and different trailers and stuff that I make for my channel. I kind of designed my studio to feel a little bit like a spaceship including my gaming chair here. I feel like I'm sitting in like a NASA rocket every time I go live and I love the theme and this media kit. I peeked at it. It's pretty crazy. You guys are going to see what I mean here in just a second. But we have the brand new OnePlus 9 in the black and the white. So thank you to OnePlus for sending me not one but two phones. And they are monster powerhouse phones this year. Especially the cameras. The new Hasselblad cameras that they added are an incredible step above really any other camera that's ever been in a OnePlus device before. So the OnePlus 9 is definitely cutting edge, and we're going to be cutting it open here in just a second. So thank you to OnePlus again for sending me these phones, and I hope you guys will check them out when the OnePlus 9 launches later this month. So we've got this big bad boy, just a giant red cube. Look how big this is. I remember when they sent me the OnePlus 8s, we just had the phones in kind of their slimmed down boxes, but they really pulled out all the stops. Jeez, this thing is like... Wait, can you guys hear this? Just like this is heavy, bro. There's a lot of stuff to unbox in here. And uh, I already opened it. Uh, a little bit of a spoiler. You guys are going to love this. This thing is crazy. The suspense, though, of taking off this giant. I feel like it's like a, a box that just like fell from the, the galaxy, the universe. I just found this mysterious relic. Check this out. This is incredible right here. This is the moment of truth. Look at this for the space theme we've got an octagon astronaut bro look how cool that is look how freaking cool that is man yo what phone manufacturer does this with their new launches look it folds right up and comes down into this like moon rover like they captured the aesthetic of space so well this reminds me of the solar panels on like the rovers that they would send to the moon and to Mars and stuff and they kind of like unfold their solar panels so they can get their energy from the sun. Like this right here is such a nice attention to detail. Of all the unboxings that we've done, I think I started unboxing the original like OnePlus 7, the 7T, 7T Pro, the 7 Pro, we did the 8s and the 9s, like you, they really have outdone themselves. And right here on the top, of course, we've got both OnePlus 9 Pro, OnePlus 9 Pro 5Gs, both with the Hasselblad cameras. And the difference here on the back is we're going to be checking out the Astral Black and the Morning Mist. So basically the black and the white variants of the two OnePlus phones. We're going to set these aside here. Let's get this cleaned up and get ready to do ourselves a really dope unboxing. And of course, inside this bigger box, we've got all of the accessories and whatnot. Just check this out, though. This is, this is just incredible, man. This is so sick. All right. I put Mr. Astronaut on the couch. He's just vibing over there. He's just going to hang out while I open his phones. I hope he doesn't mind. So let's start off. First one, I have to do it. I'm way excited for the white one. Morning Mist. This is going to look incredible. We'll obviously do a rundown of the specs, but needless to say, they're all pretty, pretty insane. They're, they're very good. <laughs> Watch this not be the white one. I want to say Morning Mist is the white one. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. This is amazing. The cameras look incredible. They even still captured the space aesthetic and appeal so well. There we go. We got the white one. Honestly, let's just do these in tandem. Let's go straight for the Astro Black as well. Oh my goodness. There we go. Heck yeah, man. Got the black one as well. Obviously, it's still, it has like the wrapping on it, so that doesn't do it justice at all. But let's peel this off. I feel, I feel dirty, man. I'm going to get my fingerprints all over this. I feel like I'm desecrating just such a beautiful piece of machinery. Oh my goodness. Let's go. There we go. Astro Black. And it's glory. Looking really nice. I love the cameras. Something about the camera just looks really unique to me. Like the lenses are so big, but it's like super... Super high quality. I can't wait to take some photos on this. This looks really, really good. All right, Astro Black has been unsheathed. Yeah, this is sick. It's actually like like a stainless steel kind of silver. 
wow, this looks amazing. This one, I knew this was going to be my favorite. There was no doubt. Let's get let's get a nice like side by side comparison here. Wow, that just looks so good. I could be a hand model, yo. I need to get my get, need to get a manicure, yo. I could do this professionally. I'm so good at this. Wow, it's got a nice Hasselblad like engraving too on the camera underneath the the lens right here. That's awesome. So now let's get into uh, let's get into some of the nitty gritty details. Let's see under the hood. Actually, never mind. Let's not do that. Let's actually just open more stuff. I like opening more stuff, and then we can get into the details. So let's check this out. I love what they do with their boxes. There's always like secret compartments and stuff. So if we pull this out from the front, oh no way! Oh my gosh, they spoiled me, man. We've got a OnePlus Warp Charge 50 wireless charger. These things are incredible. I already have one on my nightstand. And now we've got another one. <laughs> Let's go. I could charge both of them at the same time. These things, highly recommend it. It's basically just like a little stand. You, uh, It just sits like this. You put your phone on it, and it just charges it, and you just pick it up, and you're good to go. And it charges it super fast. You don't actually have to plug it in. It's all wireless. And then inside here, we have two cases to go with uh, either phone. A carbon bumper case. So we got a black one. And this one may be uh, sandstone black. Okay, so we got a two carbon bumper cases to go with our, uh, our OnePlus 9s. Pop that back in. I just want to do one last check. Like, they've already spoiled me. I, like, what could possibly else be in here? But I just want to make absolute sure. Because before, I remember when I opened the 7s, I was like, oh, there's no cases. And like two days later, Power Bang was like, oh, did you pull the like special tab under the box? And I pulled it out and there was like four cases in there for the different OnePlus 7s. I did not know that that was a thing. So you always got to be, you always got to check one more time. I think we're good. I think we've opened everything from there. We've got the two cases right here. But underneath each phone, we now also have additional goodies that we can uncover, unearth, discover. Let's, uh, let's start off with the white one pull this up and it uh, looks like inside here we may have kind of some of our uh, literature on the device we've got some Hasselblad stuff okay and the little sim pin welcome Hasselblad I love these little like peeling these things it's so nice just ASMR right there this is the new OnePlus phone. It's all yours. What's in the box is the achievement of countless people, not just from within OnePlus, but from a global community of users. We made it to be your best shot to work, live, and play as you want to, to see your world through a new lens. And it goes on to talk about, I'm assuming, the Hasselblad kind of partnership that they have. This is Hasselblad right here at the bottom of the, uh, the little document. We've got a quick start guide. We have some safety information. And then inside, we also have a charging block. It's become a little bit of a controversial topic here in the mobile phone industry. Some manufacturers are opting to no longer include blocks, but it's nice to see that OnePlus is still giving us that block because not everybody has a charger, you know, or it has one that's USB-C, right? So this is going to be a warp charge cable that is USB-C to USB-C, and that is what the, the block has as well. And of course, the stickers. I know this is the this is what you guys wanted to see. Nobody actually wants to see the phone or the chargers or the wireless case. You know, any nothing. They want the stickers. This is this is what we get right here. So definitely, you get. It looks like one, two, three, four, five, six stickers with each phone. That is, that's incredible right there. I need the thing that tells me how freaking dope this entire device is. I want to read the. Uh, I want to read the technical specs here. We could also just boot up the phone for the first time. All right, let's give ourselves a good old. Uh, I'm gonna hold the power button down. There we go. We are booting up the Morning Mist edition, and we'll go into the settings and we'll get all of the specifications. I'm actually dying to know. I know right now from the back of the box, it can. Uh, we, we can see that it has 12 gigs of RAM, 256 gigabytes of storage. It is a 5G compatible device. But I have a feeling there's some other things in here definitely worth mentioning, including a Snapdragon 888 processor, which is unbelievable. 
I don't know too much about the like the nerdy side of Android processors, but I can tell you that the triple eight one is unbelievable. Even I know that. If I know that, then you must know it's true. Honestly, I just kind of want to see like how some how some of these things feel. There's a little bit of a screen protector here. We're gonna take that off. We like to uh, <laughs> we like to be risky. There we go. We want that bare. Oh yes. Oh yes. This is this is incredible. The bare glass. 120 hertz. I know that much as well. Yo, this screen feels super responsive. This feels really good. This I like this actually feels Oh, oh my goodness. Yo, this might be like one of the best touch input delays I've ever seen. Or or I should say the lack thereof for any delay. Like it's incredibly responsive. This feels great. So finally, now we can go into the settings and we can actually check out what is uh, what is in here. I might hook up my phone. This is actually really interesting. So if we go under the hood and look at some of the settings that we have for gaming specifically, there are a few different things that we can turn on. I just enabled the mistouch prevention. Avoid opening the drop-down notifications accidentally. That's super helpful. Improve the shadow detail and enhance overall gaming graphics. Yeah, why not? We're going to do that. Haptic feedback. That's a personal preference. I might leave it off, but I do know some people like that, where it kind of vibrates ever so slightly um, on things like gunshots. And supercharge the gaming experience. We got a pro gaming mode. An advanced gaming mode created by esports pioneers. Advanced do not disturb. Block all notifications and calls except low battery notifications, alarms, and timers. You can only view missed calls in the call history. Enhance process regulator, focusing performance almost entirely towards gameplay. This may result in glitches in some apps. Okay, so it's a little bit like a beta kind of thing, but this is still really sick. Uh, what we have right here, an enhanced process regulator to kind of put the priority back onto the games we're playing like PUBG Mobile. Oh, I'm a little curious actually. Before we get into the PUBG Mobile, I just want to confirm real quick under settings. If we go to display right here, advanced display settings, we are on standard 60 hertz. Yo, let's... Uh, Let's go a little crazy back. Let's go up to 120. Ah, here we go. So it block all notifications and calls or restrict background to boost your game. Got it. So that's the mistouch prevention right there. You see how it's like I have to pull down. I have to tap that little thing if I want to pull down. Otherwise, we're not going to accidentally pull that bar down. That's the mistouch right there. That's super cool. So we still get like the pull down, but it's not going to mess with you too badly. Like you can't do anything with it. You can't tap it because you have to tap that little button in the middle in order for it to come down. All right, so we're downloading our skins. Now, this is the moment of truth. Let's see what we've got here underneath uh, the settings. We have an extreme frame rate. I'm sure that they will go ahead and they'll enable um, 90 FPS once the phone is fully out. That's one thing that some people some people see and they freak out. They go, oh my god, no, no 90 FPS? That's not fair. It, it's PUBG Mobile has to specifically enable certain settings for certain phones. So if I have, you know, in it, for instance, a brand new phone that's not even really out on the market yet, I'm sure that they haven't enabled it. So we'll probably see a 90 frames uh, option very soon once uh, once the phone drops. But the fact that we literally have HDR Extreme right now, that's that's pretty cool. Let's go colorful. Let's get some of our uh, other settings up here. There we go. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Yo, we got that HDR Extreme. I, I don't think I've ever played on HDR Extreme. Usually on most of the devices, like once you go up that high, Okay, so on Ultra HD, we still only get Ultra frames. And then, of course, UHD still is coming soon, even here. All right, so we're going to do a TDM, and we're going to be doing it on basically the highest graphics and frames I can possibly push the phone to, and we're going to see how things go. All right, we got a Season 11 and Season 16 Conqueror versus a Season 7 Conqueror. Here we go. Oh, my God. Time. This is, like, disgustingly smooth. What the frick, bro? It's, like, two... I'm... This is crazy. There we go. Yo, my first shot ever on the OnePlus 9 Pro was a kill. I'm happy. Oh, no, I bodied him. Oh, God. I actually hit that. This is so smooth. I, I don't even know. I'm, like, not used to this, man. This is crazy. And on these graphics, oh, my goodness. Nice shot. There we go. You guys know I don't normally use gyro, so it's actually kind of nice to be able to rip the phone over and get a kill. Oh, that hurt. Everybody's sniping right now. Target down. I'm just going to grab that kill, thank you. Cover me. Oh, shoot. 
Oh, I'm reloading. Rip. Nice shot. Yeah, I'm gonna grab that too. Thanks, dog. Expired. Yo, I'm kind of what? Yo, this is kind of lit. I'm gonna die. Yeah, I'm gonna die. <laughs> this is fun as hell, dude. No mercy. Clear. Yes, sir. Killing spree for the blue team. Can I? Can I just do a little? Oh my god. I saw the tip of his head, man. It was too tempting. And Will y'all stop sniping, please, for like two seconds? Jeez. This is like a, not too bad for my first ever TDM on a new phone. Nice shot. Cover me. Blue team victory. Hey, not bad. You know what? 11 kills and I got 1.4 KD. And this was literally like my first ever on a brand new phone. I don't know this device at all. I'm not used to it at all. And it feels really really good. It feels really good. Obviously, that guy carried pretty hard, but uh, that was insane. So, okay, the phone right now, it's, like, a little warm. But, like, literally any de any device playing PUBG Mobile is going to get a little warm. But keep in mind, like I said earlier, a very important part about this test is that I am literally streaming this right now. That's how you guys are able to see this gameplay. This process here alone taxes the device this looks crazy, though, to be able to spin him around like this. Honestly, the lobby graphics, like, aren't even full frames because I've got Ultra HD. Let's go HDR Extreme. Colorful. And look how buttery smooth that is. That's just unreal. All right, second game test. If you guys have no idea what this game is, it's called Genshin Impact. It's just a giant open world, like, Zelda Breath of the Wild. You know, you level up, you kill monsters, you find items and stuff. So if you're not familiar with the game, the reason that I picked this game is it was the first one that came to mind when I think of what game is going to just, like, could I possibly just try to melt the phone? Go absolutely insane on the graphics, uh, the frame rate, just push it to its limits and really see kind of a beautiful uh, result. And I think this phone's going to handle it very, very well. So I do have a character on this account already. Like, we've got, like, motion blur. Let me check the settings real quick to make sure we've got... Dang, man, this is, <laughs> this is starting to look pretty good. I will admit, I can already feel the phone getting a, getting a little bit warmer than uh, I did with PUBG Mobile. I think we may have everything turned up all the way. Oh, not even. Not even, bro. We're on medium. Oh, there's there is room for improvement. Highest. Current performance load is too high, which can lead to overheating and serious lagging. Nah, bro. I, trust me, it can handle it. 30 FPS... You know, we're just gonna we're just gonna improve that. Motion blur, extreme, bloom on. Is there uh, extreme options on these? High, 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 high. Environmental detail highest, 60 frames. Extreme motion blur. I don't know what anti-aliasing really does. I probably should know that. Crowd density high. Overclocked. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Oh, you gotta see it to believe it. Like, in my hands, it looks way better than it does on the screen. This is unreal. Like, I'm really, I'm really trying, man, to just... I normally hate motion blur, but the higher frame rate really kind of helps it not be so obtrusive. Alright, let's fight some of these guys. This is pretty insane, man. This looks really good. Windblade. Windblade. Activate. Sick. So, uh, yeah, this looks freaking amazing. Feels pretty amazing. And actually, the phone didn't really get that much hotter. It just it just got warm. Just like with PUBG, it just got warm because it's running it's running a game, but it's it's handling it pretty well. And again, I I can't overstate it. I'm also outputting an HDMI feed of this in 60 FPS to my computer, which also taxes the phone. So not only is it running this game absolutely overclocked with motion blur, 60 FPS, it's also sending a feed of that to my computer. 
This is pretty insane. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And again, thank you to OnePlus for sending me this incredible media kit with not one, but two of these incredible phones. Let me know which one you guys prefer more. I think I love the white one. Uh, but we have two black cases, so I didn't get a case that really can kind of show off how nice this looks. But again, we also have this astro black as well. So let me know which one you guys like better. And maybe I'll post some more clips of uh, playing various games on this uh, device to kind of see what it looks like. I'm sure you guys are playing a lot more than just PUBG and Genshin Impact. But uh, so far, so good. Feels incredible. Leaps and bounds beyond any other phone that I think I've ever played on. And I'm really impressed, honestly. The the input delay, I noticed, is basically non-existent on this phone. And that was the biggest thing that I think I'm the happiest about so far. Just first impressions. But with that being said, that's all I have for you guys today. Uh, leave a like on the video and make sure to subscribe. And thank you again to OnePlus for being an awesome channel partner and hooking me up with the latest and greatest. But that's all I have for you guys today. And I will see you guys next time.